2016 is when I first heard about the UTMB, the Ultra Trail du Mont Blanc, one of the most difficult and prestigious ultramarathons in the world. At 107 miles and over 33,000 feet of climbing, this is the biggest race on the biggest stage in the world and represents the best that this sport has to offer. That's when I decided that somehow, someday, I would run this race. I didn't know how I'd do it, and I doubted that I would ever be good enough to even make it to the start line, but I figured if I'm going to set a goal, it may as well be the most unachievable goal I could think of, to be a finisher of the UTMB. Well, we made it. Oh, we just checked in. We don't have our uh, apartment yet, but we are in Chamonix, uh, Mont Blanc. And uh, this is uh, just kind of right across from our hotel. This is uh, a Guy de Midi cable car that's going right up to the top. Can't see the summit here at all. Hotel Heliopagus, the guy that's helping me with the bags. <laughs> and uh, I am super stoked to be here. And um, yeah, it's like uh, Disney World. So after four years of training and getting the points and the rating to get into the race, I finally got accepted in 2020 and then the pandemic hit. After two years of delay, all the stars aligned and we made our way to Chamonix for the world summit of trail running. But we weren't alone. Surrounded by the best friends anyone could wish for, I found myself in the French Alps with a crew of seven. My primary crew of Tim, Nancy, Megan, Natalie and Rish along with Jen and Arthur were by my side. Not just a group of friends, but kindred spirits who had sacrificed themselves to help me achieve my dream. The setup was perfect in every way. Now all I had to do was get out there and make my dream come true. Your support crew will have more difficult work than you, but you will run and they will try to survive by following you. <laughs> well, and also there's like, it's sort of first one, yeah. but like the four of us, you can... But well, regardless, there will be water at the aid station. Okay. Like, yeah. Whether you access it or I access it. Yeah. Even if okay. I fill yes, the water, you can do the use of Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay. So you're... Well, this is the problem, though. If we have it ready to go ahead of time, how will we know if you want cabinet or not? One of right. each. Right. One of each? Okay. Yeah. And if, if in doubt, just two regulars. Okay. 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 Put on the t-shirt. Right? Priorities were your first off or professional songs and we'll all sleep t-shirt. Don't fresh off your first off. Unless you're wet. Sorry, but yeah, do you think I should? Are you taking any caffeine on the first night? I have caffeine in my gels, so I have the endurance tablet. It has oh, caffeine. Okay, like so I will take one with me then for the first yeah. night. Yeah, I probably I may not use it. I might have caffeine in one of my tailwind. Because just... if I take caffeine and you don't, you're gonna be bad. Yeah. I... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Let's get out! How much caffeine is in that? Like, are you can take a shot with me. Two hundred milligrams. <laughs> <laughs> And this twin, Yeah. Also, this 560, oh no, 360 milligrams of twin. Yeah, that's good. I'll, I'll, oh no, I'll, have, I'll have my endurance staff, I'll have some caffeine. I'll have some caffeine. Okay, so I will take that one. The good news about this is that it's not like it's not going to miss the crowds. If no, I'll have to see your spot. What we have to determine, though, is this a tier gear and a reservoir spot. I'm on that bus. Pretty sure.
to the start line was undescribable. When the electric guitar started to play riffs with the UTMB theme, it was surreal. I couldn't believe I was actually here, tackling this impossible race. When we drove into Chamonix from Geneva and I caught my first glimpse of Mont Blanc, I realized the true scale of the race and I immediately doubted that I would be able to finish. The mountain was big on a scale that I had never seen before. But for some reason, as I stood at the start of my dream race, I didn't have even a tingle of anxiety. I was surprisingly calm and focused. I knew it had to be done, and all I had to do now was finish. I doubted that I could make it, but I was going all in and was ready to give it my best shot. Love you, buddy. We got your back. Love you. So proud of you. You got this. So proud of you. <laughs> We're pretty excited. Cheers. Don't forget the poop. <laughs> I love you. As the race gets underway, the crew heads back to the hotel to prepare to meet the runners at Lake Condamines, the first aid station. It's time for the crew to hit the road. Meanwhile, the runners blast past Jeff Pelleche, which can only mean one thing, we are going way too fast. And the GoPro is in the crew bag, right? Richie, we're going to the bus stop. Thoughts? Ah, uh, yay, bus stop first. Um, first aid station, super excited. Um, the whole crew is walking us to the bus stop. Meg. Excited. I mean, I think you and Tim have it super under control, so I'm not <laughs> Yes. Nancy. Look at this. I'm ready for the first Let's crew. Pack mom, she's the there. I'm ready. Tim. Face We're going to the shuttle. so hard. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing it. The first climb was fast and steep, but I was not prepared for the very long and very steep downhill. Before I knew it, we had made the descent to St. Gervais and my quads were already trashed, very early in the race. The fast start and the relentless pounding on the very steep but quite runnable downhill had set me up for disaster, and within a few hours of the race starting, I was afraid that my race was already finished. Anthony! I don't want to go! 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 I don't want
event. Uh, one of the three. Here's Nancy and Sophie. They're getting everything ready. Okay, we're looking for them to come in right away. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Excuse. You need some coke. Do you have the map? Do I check the map? I need the map. Coming into the aid station, my quads were done. After a fast start and huge climb, the 4,000 foot descent had destroyed my quads completely. I had serious doubts that I would be able to finish. All I could say to Rish's question, how are you doing, was not good. Only 31k in. Things were not looking good for my race. That was um, about seven minutes. That was the most chaotic seven minutes ever. And I worked in an ER. <laughs> and you are thinking that you failed, but you got him everything he needed. I I did make the first aid station give me coke because they wouldn't let me have any coke. So how'd you ask them? I said, I need it for my runner. He's still, he's, he needs it now. He's sick. <laughs> um, I don't know. Great, great job. Oh great, my God. Great job. Chaos. We're not taking this again. Chaos. There's a little bit of chaos. Sophie, was that chaos? No. Yes. Don't <laughs> study. Yes. 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 Okay, so kind of crazy here. Oh, we have, do you have one of these? Okay. Uh, yeah. Too many people. Too many people. That was pretty crazy. Um, not that much space. How you doing? You're so sexy. You guys are doing That's awesome. Good. Keep it up. I climbed enough. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> yes. Next stage, how far is that? Um, Les Chapieux. Yeah. 11 kilometers. Yeah. yeah. 800 meters up and 1,000 down. Running through the first night was, like all night runs, a magical experience. The line of headlamps trailing as far as the eye could see and up the rocky slopes was breathtaking, but also terrifying when you realized how high you would be climbing. I kept seeing twinkling stars in the sky, only to feel like I got punched in the gut when I realized they weren't stars, but headlamps on a high ridge above me. Steep, rocky climbs followed a very technical descent. We made only one wrong turn for the whole race, which we quickly corrected when we heard other racers shouting behind us. The sun came up as we crossed into Italy at the Lac Combal aid station after what turned out to be a great night of running. Despite my aching quads, we tackled some very rocky climbs in the pitch black. If you shone your headlamp to either side, all you could feel was an empty abyss as a mountain gave way to steep valleys below on both sides. There was a tranquility to it that was somehow calming, only hearing the clicking of other runners' poles as they worked their way up the mountain. We left the aid station and headed up to one of the iconic life bases high on the mountain ridge as Tim and crew are navigating to Cormarier to meet us at the halfway point.
crew getting supplies. Bananas, coke, just finished Imodium. A, Imodium, Advil. This is what the crew is here for. Who knew but regular coke, surprisingly hard to find. Yeah, it's all Coke Zero, but we need those calories for Anthony. Also, the type, the selection of bananas, very important. Yeah, you guys, you didn't like instruct us. Small bananas, big bananas, green bananas, yellow bananas, but we, we made an informed decision. We're two stores in on bananas and Coke. Hey guys, crew is out here checking out the finish line to know where to position ourselves to see our athletes come in tomorrow. It's a pretty exciting vibe, lots going on. We're scoping out the best spots. To We're gonna tomorrow. break up to get the best video yeah. results. Yeah. I was uh, training this morning up on the mountain, doing my own little mini UTMB, uh, and found a good spot to get some footage, maybe run if that would be helpful. So yeah, we'll see you in a bit. Now this was an aid station I regretted passing right away. I ended up in desperate need of a bathroom with four kilometers of open valley ahead of me and nowhere to hide before the brutal descent to my crew waiting for me in Cormier. Quite frankly, it was simply a miracle I didn't explode. This is Italy and Cromayer. This is aid station number two. Um, Tim is there. Nance is here. She has a walkie talkie. I'm gonna head in and see if my media pass works. So I was not in good shape coming into Cormier. My stomach was getting worse, my quads were excruciating, and I managed to sprint through the side streets of town to get to the aid station. It was a huge relief to finally see Rish and Tim. There you go, buddy. There you go, right through this way. Keep going, keep going. There you go. It's doing good. I'm looking, I'm looking. I don't know. And Tim and Twitch. Keep going. We lost his pants. Hello. Okay. 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 I'm so proud of you. It couldn't be prouder. How's your gut? Uh, eh, better. Okay, straight down, and he's right around the corner. Uh, straight down. Yep. Straight down to the left. Yep. Excuse me. Hey. How are you doing? Good. My uh, my ribs are pretty swollen. Your I'm sorry. My ribs. My uh, are swollen. Like the. Do you need tape? It won't stick. Uh, no, I just took a... Uh, okay, Nathalie, this, I have to take to the ramen. Nathalie, what, what can uh, Tim get for you? He's getting me ibuprofen. I'm doing the drinks. Now at nearly the halfway mark, I felt hopeful that I would be able to finish, but my stomach had become a new problem to deal with. Although my quads were still in a lot of pain, I had been able to rest them on the climbs, only to destroy them again on the monster descents. For the first time ever in a race, I decided to try ibuprofen, something I had always avoided. I left the aid station feeling hopeful that I would be able to finish this thing, but there was still a lot of race ahead. Ibuprofen. Okay. <laughs> 
We love you, Anthony. Your face is great, buddy. I know you're hurting, but you're doing great. Those are them. We got them. Those are empty. That's okay, I got it. Don't worry about it. Is it? Fresh fruit? Yeah. Here. This is one of your packs, Stu. You know? I got a pair. Got the Advil. And I'm doing it all deep gap, right? Got your buddy's pointer headlamp for your battery, and then I got your phone pack out as well. Anthony, you reading? You need to eat. Do you want it or no? Catch you? What? How are we doing? Uh, let, let's do it after. <laughs> so, comfort and juice. How are you feeling? Okay, your quads are hot. Rub anything down? Do you want to? Do you want him to massage? Um, let me get everything settled first. Okay. Are you eating your apple. thing? He's good. He's getting his apple down. Then he's gonna try for that. I love you, right Anthony. Okay. So we're so proud of you. Hey, okay. you're fucking rocking it, buddy. <laughs> Keeping up with this maniac. Way to fucking go. Toilet paper. Why those sign? They're wet wipes. I wet wipes. It. Get the wipe. They're right there. Hold on. There's a bag. We just can wipe down those pools. Everything is fucking covered. It's ready to go when you are. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm okay, I need a little, little bit. How long have we been here? Yeah, 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 that's good. About uh, seven, six minutes, maybe seven minutes. Yeah, ten, Somewhere ten, around that. Awesome. Just under ten. Okay. Seven. Five and a half. my stomach says. Is your stomach not well? No, I didn't. Why? Do we have ammonia? Do we have ammonia? I don't know. I don't know what I have. I don't know what I'm saying. No, I've never taken anyone. You want my big cup? Yeah. Nicely done. And she's sexy. Sexy runner, Natalie Long, right over here. Tim, have you seen a girl's underwear? We found Imodium for Oh, we found Imodium? Okay, um, I love you, you're okay? Yeah. Thanks for looking after him. I need him to, I need him to finish. You hear me? And I'm going to die Yeah, Joel's doing great. He's doing amazing. Uh, I love that you're asking about him. Yes? I love you too. Excellent.
Make sure that I warm shirt for me when I get back home. Yep. Um, can wash if you can. If you can, that's fine. Yeah, so wash it. If you can. Okay. And another t shirt. Uh, your rabbit one. How about your rabbit one? Yeah, I'm going to wash it. That'll be for not double. Okay, I, I can't run with them? Oh. No. Go Canada! Go Natalie! Go Anthony! Uh, Nancy's uh, right here. Okay, there you are. I don't see her. Uh, she's just like uh, a few feet away. Okay, how'd they look? Very, very good. They looked okay. Fresh, yeah, fresh and rest a little bit. A little bit? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Uh, Nancy's down there? Yeah, yeah, she's okay. just, she might be collect, uh, collecting her stuff. Hi, Nancy. How was that for you? Good. I'm so happy he came out. I saw them run together. Yeah. How was it in the inside there? Uh, it's okay. Still chaotic or? Not less chaotic. Okay. Because he had a longer time. So hey. Tim, you just, uh, you're at aid station number two. Yep. Um, tell me a for little my, bit. Where yeah, are tell, we? In Italy. For my air. Yeah. Tell me a yep. little bit about that. It was amazing. It was awesome. It was a much nicer aid station than the first one. So it was big. We had a lot of space. Uh, it was really well done. Um, we were able to lay out everything. They're both, you know, I think they look great. I think they look good. I think they look strong. Anthony's quads were hurting him, so we massaged those pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I think he did great. Um, he's having some stomach issues, so we got him some Imodium. And he did go to the bathroom several times, but I think he's, he's looking awesome. So hopefully the weather sticks, hopefully his stomach can settle down. And we'll be good to go. It was great. Were they in good hard. spirits? Uh, yeah, they, they, like their timing is excellent. Um, so from that point of view, they're in good spirits. Anthony's a little worried about his, his quads. He's a little worried about his stomach, right? So they've got a big climb ahead of them now. And then we'll see them again at 8 o'clock. But overall, uh, the weather has cooperated. I don't think we could ask for better weather up until this point. And uh, he's, he's doing great. And he's still moving. He's still moving and he's still trying. Tim, what was that experience? That was your first time crewing? It was, was amazing. It was unbelievable. It was uh, you know, a little stressful, but I would say more exciting than stressful. It was un unbelievable. It was awesome. Um, they didn't let you in until five minutes before five the Five minutes before, yeah. Five minutes before the runner, you had to prove that your runner was five minutes away, and then they let you in. Anything yeah. else you need to say? No, we, we love you athletes. Uh, Natalie and Anthony, you're kicking butt. Been a strong crew hard. Hey Muppets, I'm doing my own little mini tiny micro UTMB this morning. I ran backwards from the finish line, um, like in reverse along where the other people were running, which is super cool. So I found some spots where we could like interject ourselves at the end with Anthony, if that's okay. Um, and then I continued up hiking a little bit. Hopefully Anthony's doing awesome. I just saw actually that he's like pretty much right on his time in Cormier, which is awesome. Uh, and so, yeah, see you guys later. Now, judging by what he went through in this stop, I think you're gonna be okay. But this was supposed to be like the worst. This bit, was supposed right? to be. So we did all the things, you now, and, and now, sorry I interrupted your story. If you wanna, was there anything else you wanted to sort of say about your experience or what they should? Well, just that at night, like the daytime, um, I think the lessons learned it was like buses are going to be late. late. Yeah. yeah. Pick, Estimate way bus. early. Critical. Because he's barking six or seven orders yeah. at me. Yeah. <laughs> Having two people. Right. And and there was no way I would have been able to do them as On effectively or efficiently yeah. without Richard. Because then I was saying, okay, I'm filling up his bottles. You get him an Advil. Um, we I'm surprised sure he's taking Advil the Advil. He's got to be in rough shape if he's yeah. taking it. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. So we got. They didn't have. Um, like we've got that pack of ibuprofen, like that box. So let's put that right. in here now. And the Imodium right. is there. Um, so let's take them out of the box. Yeah. Right. So is there much, any chance that they split up if she's pushing them too hard? Or? Um, yeah. Possibly, okay. but you can track them. So that's yeah. cool. I don't think she wants to do that. But I mean, in Zion, she held back. She's mm -hmm. in 13th spot for the women right now. Eh? 
of okay. her so, category, yeah. But you've got to at the table. Right? Yes, like Katya sat down at the table. There was a runner, an athlete, and their crew who was still there, and they moved all their stuff over there. They said, "We're almost yeah. out. Please sit here. Please sit here." Right. right. So, yeah. so there's there's generosity of spirit. Like I don't want you to think like everyone's, you know. Do we need to replace? We don't have any batteries for this. Uh, I haven't. He no, hasn't that asked one's for it. For us, in case. So you might well, want. Or for Anthony, if he needs him. it. No, I think you we'll changed his battery, battery. The phone yeah. battery. Yeah. And the other battery. Batteries? And I got him his battery case for his phone. Has he used the speaker yet? No, he is not. I don't think. You don't. Well, he's worried about enjoyable music. You know, like I, I think. Worried about not speaker when you're, when you're right. Yeah. When you're doing well and you're ready to party. Do you got one for backup? How do you guys feel about rubbing down his legs if they're bleeding? Does he have any extra underwear or anything in his? He has a bag in his pocket. Heading out. Oh, you see Bertone. 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 Mo Mojito? 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 Oh. Oh. Mojito? Red Bull vodka? Vodka Red Bull! <laughs> From uh, okay, so for the next aid station, yeah, okay, I'll go back. guys so I'll get to Katya
not sleeping. Yep. We slept last night. How are you feeling, Rich? Tired. Three hours of sleep. Good with this. Um, crazy, crazy hardcore. So, if Anthony's listening, you're pretty lucky. Um, they've actually organized everything. They're carrying the majority of stuff, and I'm just there for support emotionally. Here's all the gear. How are you feeling, Nat? Ready to go. Probably had about four hours of sleep last night, but I'm you super did? hyped. In the zone, carrying all the packs, everything's packed. We got extra supplies. We're ready. This one is like so in charge of it all. <laughs> I'm not even worried because she's packed and repacked this bag about 12 times. Yep. Yep. I'm excited. I went out training this morning to find the route, to find good places for photo ops. And uh, I'm feeling good. I did my longest run ever today. That's how excited I was. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah. Nine kilometers with a bunch of it on a mountain. So that tells you, Anthony, She's how much I love next you. Time, Anthony. Yeah. She's coming next time, Anthony. I've done like 0.5% of the course. So yeah, I'm well on my way. All right. Feeling crew? A little nauseous. So Anthony, we're questioning your choice of hobby right about now. Oh, the first bus was okay, but hour and a half. Uh, second bus, everyone, it was like sardines in a can. Like we were standing and start, and then they start reversing for some reason. There's another bus oh. that they couldn't get by. We oh, saw man. there were some donkeys along along the route. Yeah, a little bit nauseous. Nice to have some air circulation. Yeah, I just need to. But you were prepared. You had the nausea. Yeah, we both took it. We're like, we're yeah. gonna be fine. And then we're like, the same time she tapped my shoulder, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna grab uh, a gas truck. But, but we're here in time. We're prepared plenty of for time. a runner. Yeah, which is, is Switzerland, you know. right? Switzerland yeah, looks pretty cool. It's interesting that you don't check your passport at any point. You just kind of roll on in. But yep. yeah. I, uh, I edited my pictures from the day and sent them and gazed out the window. I'm the lucky one who doesn't get car sick, apparently. So. Yeah. But we are we're ready. We're ready. There's some runners up there. The bus we came in on. It's a beautiful place. We're just um, getting unnauseated and then we'll head up and we're explore. Head up those stairs. When crew becomes delirious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rishma. I can now do that.
I don't remember much about coming into Champé-Lac. I do remember that my spirits had improved significantly. By the time we reached La Fouille, I was joking with anyone who would listen, and I asked Joel to see if he could organize my crew to find pineapple before the next aid station. I had gone from doubting that I would finish to knowing that I could do this. I was very happy that I seemed to find a way to manage my quad pain, and the ibuprofen made a huge difference. I had also realized that the maple syrup was bothering my stomach, probably too many calories to absorb all at once, so I abandoned it and started to eat rice at the aid stations. Nat went to the physio tent to try to get her foot fixed up, and I was feeling very tired and drained by the time we left, but in good spirits. At this point, I was running on just willpower and grit. Everything hurt, but I just didn't care about the pain anymore. This was the experience that I was in, and I would keep grinding. Yeah, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling good because I know I'm going to finish it, but man, everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. My quads were blown after the first descent, my gut went south early yeah. and in a constant battle, but I'm still making good time. Matt's dragging my butt around the mountain. It's beautiful here, like it's beautiful. And see you at the finish line. Hey, bienvenue, David. Cool. I'm out to the coach, we're gonna gather it. Shut it down, shut it down. I'm gonna come with you just to get a shot of the Mountains because they're beautiful like you guys. Yeah, there's nothing you could do, it's the bone. It's inside. Like the skin is not up. Okay guys, good luck. See you at the next one. Welcome everybody to um, the Trinidadian uh, Rishma cooking um, show. I've just come from the toilet where I saw a man's penis and I failed to wash my hands. But what I'm doing for you here today is cutting up fruit. The fruit that she just ran next door to get. For our dear runners. And we've managed to get a cutting board, knife, takeout container from our waitress. And this is called anana. <laughs> Not banana. Not banana. <laughs> Long story. Long story, but we are crewing so hard. I'm going to say there is not a better race crew out there. <laughs> Megan, update. Mm, I'm looking up where to go for ice cream. She's crewed. Come on, this is all bad. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> That was like an eight year old pineapple. An eight year old banana. I know. I know. What? I don't even know what to do here. I can't. I think I'm laughing because I've had no sleep. And, and Rishi's face is just. <laughs> Okay. Well, we should have just got the tin pineapple, but we were worried that you would only eat fresh, and now this has happened. I can't even put this in. <laughs> There's flies! <laughs> Okay, and with that, we're gonna sign off and try to salvage the pineapple. Update We are going back to the supermarket at the advice of our um, lovely server to show them the rotten pineapple and get hopefully a fresher. There's this is the only one that was the only pineapple at the whole supermarket. No, otherwise, it would have gotten a couple. And even if we got a can, we don't have a can opener. Do they have like little mini cups of pineapple? No. Shit. Okay, Switzerland, not the place for pineapple people. No, well, there's still some. So, in a crew update, we went back to the grocery store in which they couldn't find the charge to refund us for the pineapple, but they did have canned pineapple with a pop top. So, we've now spent 15 euros on pineapple for a rotten pineapple and a can of pineapple.
gorgeous. We had two lunches, crepes, which were gluten-free, and ice cream. And rishma has been eating chicken nuggets and noodle soup, because that's what you do when you're in France and Switzerland. Here we go. We have some runners. Allez, allez, bravo. What a gorgeous place to be running. And we're just hoping that we're gonna be in good shape. I got my media pass. Rishma stripping over the bench. Checking time, we are at... He's estimated in 40 minutes. 38. Bravo. Bravo. Ale, ale. Good job. Bravo. I'm practicing the GoPro because that's my next job. Yeah, you definitely need to go in with the media pass holding up to you. <laughs> I'm not going to question. There you go. Oh, it's starting to rain. Starting back. <gasps> Here's Nat, the trooper, with the big bag. We're getting close yeah. to the aid station. They are right on their projected time, which is awesome. Good job. Rish is also looking in fine form, despite hardly sleeping <laughs> and almost puking numerous times. Bravo. Good job. Oh, well, it's just starting to rain. Just a refreshing amount. Orange shirt is at the bottom. Got it. So, and the shell is here. Okay. Yep. Shell. Yeah. First thing you give him, also in your pocket, is the emodium. So give that to him to put. I'm on nervous. Him. I gotta go pee. I, if I just pee, I don't have to pee. I'm nervous. Okay. So, but you give him the emodium. I have him take some emodium, but from our first aid pack. Yeah. And remember, you've got to refill the water. Star and black caps are happy. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> Nuggets. Uh, okay. Let's go. Hey. Okay. Now, you actually can't help me set up or do anything. Right. I'll just video. Yeah. But if you, I'm going to ask you because I do this, you might be like, where's this? And just be like, in the pack, front zip. Yeah. I couldn't remember when he came in and Nancy was on it and I was just like, blah. We got two of us. We got our two brains. We got you, no? You can do it. Can you just show your media tag? Okay. So we... Go in there. Okay. Merci. Merci. Yes. Probably look legit if I'm filming, right? They didn't even check you. That's Ross. Proud to be Nancy Ross. <laughs> okay, let's look for Sophie. Sophie's in there. You're good. You're not gonna fall. Uh, hey! Hey guys. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, it's really good. It had a lot of sugar on it, sour stuff. Yeah, we got, we heard that message. Do you need some, do you need some help?
chers au total 50 finisseurs. Et il y a des arrivées en tant que finisseurs. Quatre les arrivées It's in there. It looks different because we bought it here. Is it that in your hand? Yeah. Here you go. Can I do that? No, I got it. Here, babe. Yeah. Long sleeve arm. Yeah.
Rish did a great job providing all the support I could ever need, and my single syllable answers were really all I could manage. Despite trying to get me to go to the physio tent, I refused, knowing there was nothing they could do. Food, Advil, and moral support were on point here. Even though it may seem like my brain had checked out, it helped a lot, and I left feeling confident that I would get this done. last 5k of the course today it's awesome and I know you're gonna be there yeah, you're feeling it. What do I need for you? strap you up uh, check into our flights you and Tim okay. I'll come back in pocket good hand sanitizer yes. if you know it's okay in the first stage, first stage. Oh, wet wipes are good, wet wipes are good. Okay, thank you for the pineapple so much. Yeah, you're welcome. I can't find any hand Do it. Feed it to him like she's yep. doing it. Just anything you want, especially for next stop? Nope. Okay. Oh, tastes good. Yeah, they'll tell you about that on, on the back side. Pineapple is good. Yeah. You're doing great. Yeah. Do you, you want fresh fruit? fruit? I got it. 
Do you want potatoes? Potatoes? More pineapple? All right, let's go. You got your water? You got this, right? Honey? I should in three countries today. You're looking awesome. Thank you, guys. 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 You're stuck in the next one. Thank you, guys. 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 Across the timing, Matt, dear, Matt, to make sure you're out of the Can't do these, step over it. Okay. Excuse me, please. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm going to
they did pretty good. Ant was eating the rotten pineapple we got him. Uh, he ate potato pancakes, salted. So I think that's a good sign. Because um, the last couple, apparently he wasn't eating. Um, yeah, I feel like super, well I did have two coffees and I never usually drink coffee, but I got so much energy and I'm so excited for them to do it. All right, I'm running back to meet Rish and Natalie to get on the next shuttle. So we go to the next stop and there's no sleeping tonight. I'm back at the tent and I'm looking, oh there they are. Hey guys. Hey. How do go? Good. We're just game plan, so we're gonna go back on the shuttle and then I'm going with Sophie in the car. Okay. Um, and you're gonna go with Rish in, in the shuttle. shuttle. Yeah. Here's one syrup. Put it in the one with the drawers. Yeah. Got yeah. it. So the one with the drawstring. Drawstring it close. We need you to find water somewhere. Yeah, like find water well, they would, bottles? Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. uh, we'll go shopping. Do they have water bottles in there? Oh, like go in here and get? Or you mean go yeah, shopping? Or, see if you I'll go look. Why don't we talk about Nat? You were at aid station number three, and what did Anthony look like? He looked amazing coming in. He was making jokes with me. The one thing I say for us, for crew, we got to make sure the tracker's off. The tracker's yeah. off. It's he was 17 minutes out, and then he was around the corner. So, and Natalie was seven minutes out, but he was making jokes. He was waving. He looked amazing coming coming in and going out. How about Nat? How's she doing? She's having a rough time. So the shakes are there. She can't keep anything down. Food, water, it's all coming out of her. So she's having a rough time. She's where he was at station two. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. They're, one's bad, one's good, and they're flipping, yeah. and so they but can But he's feeling good, and he ate. He ate food, which is, like, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you shoved uh, a potato pancake. I fed him yeah, potato I looked on the like, tracker. Yeah. I looked on the tracker. It said 18 minutes, and then it was starting to rain. So I said, oh, I have an umbrella. I'm going to go give it to the guys outside. Like, so I'm you? walking out with the umbrella, and then I look and see Natalie coming in. So I'm like, well, turn around, and I saw her come in. And then I saw Anthony, and I think I hit the GoPro and, like, got them a little bit. And, yeah, he looked good. Came straight into you, gave you a big kiss, and sat down, and you started shoving potatoes in his face, and like, what do you need? And he was eating potatoes, he was eating the pineapple, he loved the pineapple, it was he a good call that we got. The, pineapple. the very the fresh, um, <laughs> not rotten at all pineapple. And he would, you, he didn't want the syrup anymore, because it no was more making syrup. him He's feel sick. It. Yep. Um, but he, he had some coke. Yeah, you made up the, you had everything set out. You made the tailwind, he did one caffeine, he did some noom. Um, he asked for some granola bars, but he looked good. You, well, every time you like touched his leg, even just like, so I think his, his, his legs are hurting, but he refused to go in the physio tent, even though we tried. No clothing change, no shoe change. Uh, yeah, yeah, he changed into his long sleeve shirt. Long but sleeve. no, like, no, no shell, shoes. no shoes, no, right? No, he said, like, the no compression socks. Um, he hasn't needed it, which... I would agree from running 100 meters, I was like drenched in sweat, but uh, it might get cold later on, right? So, And his stomach seems to be better. So, did he say, anybody yeah. ask him? I did, yeah. Okay, he I did said not. it was better, yeah. In the tent, he said it was better, because yeah. okay. we said, uh, you gave him a modium, but he said he'd already had one, but he's got some with him. Okay. He's looking really, really good. You took an Advil? Yep. Okay, let's go. Dream is alive. Let's go to the other crew here. Okay. Katia, Sophie. Yes. How was that for you guys? How how did how did Frenchie look? So yeah, I don't know. She was okay. She was tired. Yeah. Too tired. She looks like cold, but she say that she was not cold. She said, "Okay, I need the bathroom. I need to go to the bathroom. Okay, let's go." Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you got up and you went with her. Yes. Uh, she was shaking. She, she was yeah. shaking. She didn't eat a lot. I, s I heard she couldn't keep anything down. No. She ate maybe three spoons of oatmeal, nothing more. Any of the... Bread, no. no. Nothing. Water. She has enough she did, stuff. No, she didn't want any tea. Nothing. nothing. Oh yeah, the tea. You made tea. Yes, she didn't I was going to have it. She left her cup. Yes, she, she left her cup. Her, her cup. You have to go to cup. Yeah, but it was in the spare. It was me who took them. It's the two. It was me who took them in the spare. Yes, but she always has the same. So let's see. Okay. In a few hours. Yes. Okay. You guys are doing okay? Yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah? <laughs> Amazing. Go team. Go team. Go, go team. Matt. Go, go team. team. <laughs> How are you doing? Great. Are you supporting the supporters? I'm supporting the supporters. We thank you. <laughs> yeah. 
crew. Thank you for curing the crew. <laughs> You're welcome. But I think that didn't. She had no potato, no soup, like nothing, nothing. Nothing. Because she said nothing she said. I, so I, uh, we have soup if she wants soup. it at the next. So yeah. there's it's chicken noodle soup, and we have, and cups. We have cups for them. Yeah. So if you want, the, I'll pour it out. Like we'll pour it out when we get there. If she has it, she has it. If not, we just pour it back in. Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool that they had food for all of the crew. There was like sausages, Although the whole yet. apparently the whole tent smells like big wieners. <laughs> oh my god. Megan, oh no wait, Rishi saw somebody's wiener in like. Was that one big? No. <laughs> <laughs> This is what happens door, when you've had no Mandy sleep. Mandy closed the bathroom Dude, door. He yes, looked at me, yes, I looked yes, at him. Yes, <laughs> Which, how did you feel in there? It's like in the tent. I, I, felt I felt good. I felt good. I felt super you, organized. I could tell. You were like, we you were, were massaging his legs. You were feeding him the food. You got everything out of the yeah. bag. There was you know one what? thing we couldn't find. They hand sanitizer. In, yeah, I couldn't find a hand sanitizer. But he, it's, it's, in the, it's in the... We looked in the first day. No, no, no. Our crew pack. So if he wants it, let's put it in. Put it in for next time. But let's be honest. He also has hand sanitizer. That was the best station. Like. Tim didn't. Hit, Tim had five minutes before they came in. We had at least ten. Yeah. Yeah. They made like ten minutes. Yeah. yeah. So Which was it's good because but I thought the was thing freaking is, off. So this is like a note. As soon as we get there, push to get in the in. tent because yeah. the timing's off. Yeah. And if we had waited, when because remember we were like, oh, we have half an hour. If we had waited for that, they would have come in and we wouldn't have been yeah, ready. That's it's like true. his worst nightmare. Yeah. So we got to push to get in the tent. Get in earlier because yeah, we, yeah. we were now looking we're not going to be going for coffee. We're not going to be having ice cream. Like that was our dinner time. No, but I mean, if they're making us wait outside, push. We are packing the packs at Trion. Okay. Is that a ride? Yeah. Sophie? Are you feeling crew? <coughs> That's sign language for super nauseous. Uh, yeah, sure. Does she want any? She need any? I can take, I have any. Yeah. Dans, dans le truc de cliente, il y a des pêches là. Comme ça, elle vient Toilet paper. 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 Toilet it's amazing. With mayo and tartar sauce. I have. <laughs> She's showing her brain. I know they're jealous. I know they're jealous. Oh, Not so much, no. no. <laughs> Not right now. They're just saying that. <laughs> in Triant. Quite a party happening in the tent. Reflect in the tent. Reflect in the tent. And wine and beer. <laughs> but only taking cash. So we're hoping we can find some. Pretty nice place. Tell me what's going on. In French? No. No, really? In English. So they are late, three minutes late. So we are waiting just to be sure everything is Okay. We're, a one, no, one, no. We're a little bit nervous. Yes. Um, just because yeah. it's the first time that they have missed their mark. Um, last time they were 15 minutes early, and so we're a little bit um, worried. Um, yeah. Hi, babe. No, no, no. Hi, how are you? What's that? Great. Oh, I'm going to change his batteries. Okay, battery change. Battery change, we need Tailwind. I have this battery in my pack. I've messaged Megan, so we need Tailwind with caffeine, Noon with caffeine, Extra Tailwind with caffeine, Change socks. Yeah, not change socks, just look at blue. Yeah. You gotta keep going. It's actually like a ways. You're going down to the tent there. How are you guys doing? We're good, we're good. Are you cold? Did you sleep, hon? 
Oh yeah. You lie. Look at this matter. True story. <laughs> full on lie, full on lie. She's a champ though. I'm trying to convince Nat to drop me and make her goal time. You're gonna make your goal time. I'm gonna finish, I don't care. But... You're gonna finish. Just... Anthony, I just need you to finish, babe. Are you fucking kidding? Yeah, but... One sock to go, you're gonna finish this. I guess sure she's gonna push me to the point where I don't finish. Okay, okay. so then you run your race though, won't. right? I'm trying, but she won't hear of it. She's like, nope. Okay, well you tell her. I'll okay. tell her. Well, I told her she... I gotta come back and use this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I better use it. Nah, here. I'll use it now. Go. Where in there are you? Well, um, we're waiting here for you. Well, wait. All right, we're inside check set number four, Triant. We are all set up and waiting for our runners. Here's the table, food, clothes, and we're just waiting. We got the music pumping over there in the back. You can see um, the part where you can get wine and coffee and reclet. I had my first reclet and the friendly reclet men insisted that I make it myself and they filmed me. So there's a separate video of that. They also insisted that I have wine just for the photo. I promised I did not drink any because I would never do that. I have to be on my top game for Anthony. That's why I've had three coffees and no wine. I'm serious about this. I'm all set. And I'm gonna remember to set the timer when he gets in. Put that red jacket on him because he might be cold. Then I'm gonna, I have his, uh, water bottles ready here and he's going to tell me how much tailwind to put in caffeine or not caffeine we also have the noon caffeine or not caffeine and slowly also creeping to take over the rest of this table because this guy's leaving and uh yeah we're all ready i got his shoes i got the bananas i got the pineapple i got the potatoes with salt um Water to mix up the noon. We got even canned pineapple just in case he finishes all the fresh one and it opens without a can opener. We got the toilet paper. Um, I'm realizing it's loud. Hopefully, you can hear me. And we got all the chocolates, chocolate bars, maple syrup, first aid. I think I'm all set, but I am a little bit nervous because, like, this is an important job. But I'm glad that Rishu is coming in on our media pass with the GoPro so she will tell me if I'm doing anything wrong. And she will give Anthony all the encouraging words that he needs. But I know from Natalie, the coach, that we don't say, you're doing great, you're awesome. We say, this is your dream. Do what you need to do to finish. I know it's hard, but you need to do what you need to do to finish. Um, so I think I got it. And uh, just ask him what he needs. What do you need? And don't let him sit too long. Uh, he has to get back out. But last time he was looking really good, so we're feeling encouraged. Uh, we feel he's looking this time. Natalie was struggling a bit last time to keep stuff down, so we're hoping that she's in a bit better shape. Um, but we saw that the two of them are still running together, still on track to meet their expected time. So I think they're doing really awesome. I gotta say, like, really cool to be here, be part of the whole buzz. It's really like a party, but also a super elite athletic event. Um, that's pretty awesome. I'm pretty honored to be here as part of the crew. Uh, now I'm just like getting a little bit of work. Get in here and we can do our thing. Okay, the table is straight up, so I'm gonna like spread my stuff over. So we have lots of food. Okay, I'm gonna sign up and I might come back when you arrive. Things in Trient were going well. At this point, I knew I would finish. The only question was would I burn out trying to beat Natalie's time from last year. By now, the crew were a well-oiled machine and they were on point every step of the way. I had a small blister that was causing some pain, but my stomach had settled somewhat with the solid food and ditching the maple syrup. Is that caffeinated? Yeah.
Papa and Grandma are proud of you. They're with you. They're actually with you. I know. I was thinking Switch, about them. Switching shoes? No, I need you to look and see if I have a blister. Okay, okay. Ah. Get French, uh, French has a moleskin. Okay, I got, I got. You got something in there. What are we looking for? A big, big bandage. Oh yeah, got it. Need a modium? Uh, I think I have something better. Oh no, bandage, bandage.
Did you get your cup back? Your cup? Your foldable cup. Do you have it? Okay. Okay, because we thought you left it. This is your this is yours, Anthony? Yeah. From first aid. Do you need a modium? No. Do you need Advil? Oh, I have one here already? Do you need Advil's? No, I have. Okay. Get one more apple. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna run out with it. I love you. I love you. Hi Sophie. Hi. Oh. Yeah. Hey Ben, I'm counting on seeing you at that last aid station. Um, is there one more just with you guys? Yeah. In and four. In four hours. And that's snack station. Okay. So I'm ready for you. Sweet. So she's gonna get your legs. Yeah. yeah. How are you feeling, baby? Um, okay. Okay, well, we all love you. And, uh, yeah, finish this. Finish this. this is, oh, we're going to finish. This nice. is a dream. You got this. And and don't don't hurt yourself. I right saw your, your blister. Race, right? right. Yeah, yeah. just finish. We'll all be there. We're, we're, Thanks for everything you guys have done. Three hours 20. Okay. We're, we're there. We're there. Three hours 20. You guys got this. Good job, you guys. So proud of you, baby. Okay? Yeah, you got the best work ever. I know. Um, so we go through the right exit? Do we went through the right exit? Yeah, 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 yeah. you take the left side. Okay. Okay. Yes, thank you. See you in a few hours, guys. Okay, I'll go up a little bit. Good job, Nat. Good job, Anthony. Love you guys. Love you. Proud of you. Keep up the great work, you guys. <laughs> oh, oh, problem, Zachary. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Why are you walking like that? What's happening? Good job, everyone. Okay. What, what, what do you think? I think he's looking good. I think he's positive. It's good. His stomach is good. He ate. Natalie's looking good. They're both in good shape. They're finishing this. Yeah. Absolutely. They're so almost done. They're almost done. One aid station to go. That's with you. Yep. Okay. We're ready for you guys. I'm packing up. That was a whirlwind. And I think he looks really good. He was just like, give me this, give me that. He didn't seem delirious. Uh, he asked for noon, um, caffeinated tailwind, an extra tailwind. Uh, he didn't take any chocolate. He ate some potato. Uh, no more pineapple this time. Uh, we fixed a blister on his toe, and that's pretty much it. He, I don't know, maybe he didn't ask me enough stuff. It like happened so fast. Uh, but he just seemed to really know what he wanted. Uh, we changed his headlamp battery and yeah I forgot to start the timer after all that but it seemed like Rish was on it she was telling him how much time she was filming I think Frenchie looked better this time but I was focused on Anthony it seemed pretty good so I'm packing up a bag uh noons go on the outer pouch okay that's all bye for now okay so um Megan, um, Nat, you guys were at station number four? four. Yeah, Triant. Uh, Triant, yeah. tell me how it went. So we went in. There was a place to uh, party outside the assistance area. There Appar was Yeah, reckless. apparently Triant is the place where people get wasted. Then fall asleep on a table, and if you're staffed, you vomit in the bathroom. Just walking in there, you hear the music, like, yeah. pumping. That, that wasn't there it's the, the party last stop. Spot. It's a party stop. People were drunk. Yeah. We're drunk, so we and you can't go in until you have like so many minutes. So we we're waiting there. So we got coffees to keep ourselves awake, and then I wanted a reclet, so I got one. These guys went out to like watch for the runners. 
because again the timer is like a bit off and so then I had a few minutes I thought I'd go get my raclette and they were really happy the raclette guys they insisted I make it myself and they filmed me so I did and uh, then I went in got everything set up had a few more minutes than we thought because yeah, they, like were, they were coming yeah. soon so that was good and also allowed me like to take over the entire table uh, and yeah then aunt came in well Natalie came in first she was looking good aunt came in looking really good like I'd say better than the last one yeah for sure. getting in the car um Chris, tell us how you're feeling. I'm pretty tired. Uh, I tried to sleep in the car. That didn't work. Um, I tried to sleep on the floor in there. Um, nice hardwood floors, but my back is killing. Um, yeah, I, I'd rather hang out with you guys because sleep is not happening. Although, you know when you want it so bad? Yeah, that's why you're not sleeping. You might be in worse shape than Anthony. Oh, hands down. <laughs> like, if I were to get up, and I just back can't. Short. I, I, I was walking, I'm walking pretty rough right now. This is true love. This is true love. This is why you inspire right me. Here. This right here. She's a model. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag, she's a model. Hashtag. It's our bestie. <laughs> How are you feeling about the last stop, Natalie? Awesome. I'm stoked. I'm ready. I just want them to get here so we can get them out and get them going. I'm not tired. I'm good. I feel like you are never been more prepared for anything in your life. I'm solidly on it. I've been waiting for this for I think you did for the last hours. 40 hours. hours. Yeah. Yes. This yeah. is like we can tell why you're a national champion multi times over. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you well, shit done. we're about to have two UTMB champions in the making, right? Yep. Final stop. They're ready for it. They're looking good. And they're ahead of time. They're ahead of schedule. Yeah, they're like 40 minutes ahead. They're, they're looking super it. strong. I think we thought at this point it would you'd be needing to like psychologically motivate them. And yeah. They're actually looking really strong. Meanwhile, Ant has jokes for days. Nat's finally eating and they're smiling. And yeah, like yeah. they're looking better than they did. And they're, they're looking better than they did. Our racers like, look actually. better than we do. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely better than this one. <laughs> yeah, his tea isn't even going down well. I don't, I don't, know. I don't know. It's just tea. Uh, uh, here, let me go back. Sorry, to you. Anthony, I have been eating your chocolates because you haven't been, so. Okay, so you were talking about your last race, and then you mentioned um, what we, where we left off was that he had a blister. Yes, yeah. he had a blister between his toes, which I'll be honest, I couldn't really see, but he said it was there, so I believed him, and I had to pull his toes apart put a little band-aid in. I wasn't very good at finding the band-aid, he found it himself. Uh, so, but it, and it was hard work to like pull off his socks. Those were really tight socks. But we've got the band-aids out in advance this time. Yep. Like we're learning as we go, we're prepped. We're yep. prepped, Megan got them out, yep. Um, yep, he took an extra tailwind with him. He took some of those extra baby foods that they really like. Um, the purees, the purees. yeah. He didn't change his clothes. Any Advil in the stop? Nope. Okay. And he asked him if he wanted it, nope. Didn't want any Imodium, his stomach is good. Yep, he, um, he wasn't cold, he had his jacket ready. I think they've had good weather. Like. They're dry, they're dry. There's been almost no rain, yeah. so they're dry and it's cool, but it's not freezing. Yeah, so. haven't, haven't needed to change their shoes. Um, yeah, he was good. He, he changed his headlamp battery, we did it together, and like was ready to go. And I said we were worried about them, and he flat out laughed in my face. <laughs> I was. I didn't massage his legs, though. I'm sorry, Anthony. I didn't massage your legs. I don't think there so. was time, eh? Well, there. Well, I saw what you did. Like you, like put in a food and massage his leg, and put in a food, and I didn't find it. Yeah, you're shoving food in, and you're finding band aids. Yeah. I was shoving potatoes yeah. until he was spitting them to get the socks off. That's the first time the socks have come off. That there's like an actual dressing. We yeah. haven't really gone into first aid, so that was the first time that's happened. So. Yeah, I think, and the blister, he mentioned the blister right away. He actually didn't mention his legs being sore. So I almost think for him, the blister was more important. So I think he did the right thing by not not doing the leg massage. Oh, but he really enjoyed the chicken nuggets. I have to yeah, the nuggies are like the best decision we made. The nuggies. <laughs> and the uh, anana. He didn't yeah, have any this time. banana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole other story. <laughs> uh, yeah. We didn't have any like banana or other fruit. He hasn't been eating his chocolates um, or granola bars. Or his PBJ. No sandwiches. Yeah. He's had like one bite of a sandwich. I know. That's so we took him out of your pack. Sorry, but you got brioche. 
the, the sandwiches were gross, Ann. They were gross. He's not really into the syrup anymore, and he didn't have Coke this time. Um, but we got some potatoes in him. And some chips. I tried to stop Rachel from cheating, but she did cheat a little bit. I, so I didn't cheat, but I do think that they should practice their leg massage on me. <laughs> and a lower back massage. <laughs> We're getting ready here. So no sleep for, you know, for the crew, which is fine. I did uh, I did a couple of videos, like a before, a before and after, a before of setting up and an after of tearing down, like a confessional kind of. And, uh, <laughs> so this time I'm excited because I'm gonna be the one to go like down the course a bit, meet Ant, and like run into the stop with him. But I'm gonna ask him what does he need. I'm gonna call Nat so that she's inside and I'll be like, make this, make that, uh, get this ready. So we got it all planned out. And then hopefully after that we're gonna like go back to home and Rishma's gonna have a shower and I'm gonna go hike up the mountain to meet them at the little cafe and come down with them. So that's gonna be really cool. And then I'm gonna be at the corner um, where we can start running with you guys. So basically by Frenchie's apartment. Yeah, by Frenchie's apartment is where we can start running with you guys. So hopefully Tim and Nance will be there. I'll put Rishi on my back, you know, <laughs> and run with her. This is the best crew ever. I really like them. Um, can you do me a quick favor, yes. uh, Rodriguez? Can you, we were, we had to use the bathroom. So we used the bathroom at the last eight stop. Oh, snap, guys. We had to use the bathroom at the last stop. Rishi and I go in, and there's a stall between us. And there's somebody violently vomiting, and we like, were like, violent. like violently, and multiple times we thought it was a runner. It was like, <laughs> and we both come out, and out walks a staff member, because <laughs> all of the staff and everybody else was wasted at the at at Trion. Everybody was like gone, and then he went and hit on another girl. Oh, by the way, by the Megan's <laughs> raclette and I'm shooter showing them. is the drunk guy. I'm showing them my pictures later. I'm like, guys, look. I made raclette with this guy. That's the barfer. The bombing, barfing guy. That's the barfer. Yeah. But this was before he barfed. Like five <laughs> minutes before he barfed. <laughs> All right, so this time I'm the waiter. I am about 100 meters ahead of the final check stop in Valorcine. Um, and I'm waiting here so that when our runners show up, I can walk the last little bit beside them uh, or run. And um, I'm going to call Natalie. Uh, in, who's inside the tent and just relay to her like a heads up what they want um, so she can get it all set and um, I'm also going to play them some soca music because I feel like that would like jazz them up um, I'm basically just standing here playing soca music to jazz everyone up as they ride by uh, and it's kind of reminding me of when I got my COVID vaccine in December and I had to wait eight hours at a pop-up shop and I danced the whole time um, this of course is much less cold there's no snow um, and a much shorter wait, and just much more fun all around. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited for them. I think they are in such good shape um, from when we saw them at the last check stop. So they are forecasted to be here uh, about 40 minutes ahead of what they initially anticipated, which is awesome. So, yeah, I think they're doing really great. Uh, and hopefully I'll be seeing them soon. Uh, bye for now. Great job, great job. Small for the camera, live camera. Bravo. Uh, how are we doing? Good. How are we feeling? Okay. Do you have anything to say to your friends and family back home? Um, almost there. Almost there. Just a little last check, marathon left. Last checkpoint. Good job, you guys are looking good. Walking Can you, can you check something for me? Yeah. Can you check if uh, or ask? If the mat to leave, is it right at the exit? Okay. Or is it further? Can you ask if the mat at the exit is the is the it timing mat? Yeah. Okay. Is it right at the exit or further? Thank you. And let them know at the exit. And I'm getting in. Oh shit.
I got potato and I got chicken. Do you want? I've got Sorry. water, t shirt. Do you want the popcorn? Yeah. Uh, yes, I did. Uh, I also so I have, have to see you guys. That one stays there? Then you want them in the top. Okay. On it. On it. Bathroom is this way? Yeah. On to the complexity. No. Okay. Water to go. T-shirts. These are not stuck. Hmm. Uh, uh, bread? Bread? Uh, bread? Uh, big piece of bread. Well, Let's I'm get her a brioche. Yeah, she sure. needs a, a brioche. Sure. Sure. Is it good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, never mind. Uh, 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 have a good uh, salt? Uh, anybody have salt? Does so, anyone have salt? Yes, yeah. here. Salt? Oh, go, go. So, here. Salt no. taps? Salt, salt oh, taps? Yeah, yeah. Did I get two? Two? Uh, uh, yes, oh, I'm sorry, I don't need two. No, yeah, that's good. I just need one to put this one thing. Okay, so. Where is the um, Is it about like some in the city? At, uh, well, yeah, yeah, it's fine. You can use hers. How are you doing? You ready? Yeah, I think so. Okay, here, here. One more. One more. One more. One more. This is crappy. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Is he okay? These gloves? Exactly. The, no? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. What else can I get for you? Oh, I probably shouldn't. Because okay. I'm new here. That's good. I hope it's okay. Yes. Okay, Advil. Do you want a modium? Do you have Advil? I've got Advil. Two or one. Okay. I'll take two. You're on, you're on your last leg. Okay. You know? You have to eat something. Last leg, you have to eat. Evan, you like massage? Yeah. Okay, get the rice and come back on Mona. Where's the Rice. He wants rice. His stomach is upset. He wanted a t-shirt. He wants a t-shirt? Yeah. Does he need gloves? Does she grab gloves? Uh, he has gloves with him, so... Oh, for fuck's sake. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't even know what that is. I, I washed it. Thank you. T-shirt? It looks dirty. No, 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 I'm, I'm going to put it in here. Okay. It's not dirty. It, yeah. it, it, it just looks okay, dirty. Okay. I just want that for the next one. Okay, sit. Sit. Man, I need two minutes. I'm not doing well. Okay. Whatever. It's going to hurt. Stomach. Are you hiding? Stomach. 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 By now, I had no doubt that I would soon be a UTMB finisher, provided I avoided some catastrophic injury. With just about a half marathon left, I had the confidence I needed to finish. Somehow, I was getting the fuel I needed for mostly rice at the aid stations, and my stomach, well, not perfect, had settled down a lot. The next climb seemed to go on forever, but it was the last one. The back of the aid station looked like an army triage tent, with runners unresponsive on cots, not moving or speaking. We would also pass a lot of runners by the side of the trail with no energy to go on. One last push. He has some drinks. Yep. He has his tailwind. He has noon. Oh, 
but Anthony, we're super proud of you. It's really strong. Just remember, you, you all, just whatever it is. Yeah, this is what you've been training for, right? Get there, right? Yeah. Just get there. You will be there with the bubble. Anthony, do you want more pineapple? I'll just scoop it in with my hand. Do you want that Mateo? Do you want a cup of pineapple with you? No. Okay, you guys are ahead. You have time, right? We're gonna be there no matter what. We're tracking you. Just, just, just finish. We're good. We're awesome. We're awesome. Do you ask your napping or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the sleeping. Remember, this is a dream, right? This is a dream. On the way home. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, they're in there. Kate, I love it. I'm so proud of you. I love you too, press lady, media chick. Oh, me. Okay, yeah. All right. Um, Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Do you want to say anything to your crew? Thank you, awesome nerds. Nerds? Hey. This is my movie. Oh. Called. Thanks for the nerds. Pitch, per pitch perfect. Oh, I've never even seen that. You motherfucker. Next time. Okay, next time I'm over, we're watching Pitch Perfect. All right, it's been 13 minutes, maybe 14, and it looks like they're getting ready to take off. So I'm gonna go around the tent to the other side and see if I can get a glimpse of them leaving. So here's a little tour of the outside. There are food tents, a waiting tent, a beer stand with people having a pretty good time. Thank you. Proud of you, proud of you. Proud of you. Uh, Thank you, love you. I love you too. I can't come out this way, can I? Can I go out this way? Okay, here they come. You guys couldn't be proud of you. I I think you guys are superstars and every, you guys are an inspiration to so many people. Keep up the amazing work. Shit. Jacket. Debrief. Walking back, a little nauseous. A little nauseous. 415. They were looking awesome. Got a good um, massage of Anthony's legs. His stomach's bothering him a little, but we got some Advil in him, got rice in him. They're both eating. Um, apparently, Anthony got mad at Natalie. Oh, in the rest stop? Uh, no, on the run. But I said he's not really mad at her. For um, what? They're in good shape. Anthony says he's going to finish. I told him even if he has to crawl, but they're confident they're going to finish. They're early. They're ahead of time. Yeah. So one climb and then it's all downhill. They're going to make it. They looked really strong, yeah. I have to say, coming Anthony in. Anthony cracking jokes again. Yep. And uh, Rish is going to get some sleep, we hope. Uh, and we're going to meet back at 7.15. And we're all going to run them through to the finish. Maggie is going to... Meet them up at the cafe for some action yeah, shots. I'm gonna hike up for some footage up there with the GoPro. We're all gonna run them in. No sleep, so I think this is the definition of Cruso Hard. <laughs> <laughs> Cruso Hard, signing out. Out.
I'm heading up back to the cafe that I scoped out yesterday. But when we woke up this morning, yeah, looks like these guys flew all night, but the app is wrong again. But obviously, we don't want to take a chance, so I am like booking it up this mountain. Because if these guys can run like 40 something hours, I can do this fast. See you up there. Okay, thank God I'm gonna make it. I'm only 90 meters away. And I can see on the GPS thingy that there's still a lot of ways to go. But man, I thought I may miss them. I don't think I've ever ran that fast in my life. I was definitely not enjoying, enjoying this beautiful view on the way up because I was freaking out. Okay, we're going to the cutest little cafe that they are gonna come straight through. And I wanna get some footage of them. Oh my god. Okay, switching the camera. How gorgeous is this? Little cafe right on the mountain top. Pretty nice view for a cup of coffee or beer or water or ooh, Citron Nad Maison, that would be good. Right about now, but they're not open yet. Charcuterie, omelette, top maison. Maybe these guys will wanna just, you know, hike back up tomorrow when they're open. You think? I thought for a minute that I might miss them, so I ran up here like faster than I've ever ran. I have now caught my breath, but you'll see on my other video that I could barely breathe. Uh, but there was no way I was gonna miss these guys. They can run 40 hours. I can like get my ass up here, the whatever, <laughs> three kilometers it is from my hotel. So I'm waiting for them, I'm setting up. Uh, my camera, the GoPro, and we're gonna see them soon. I can now maybe appreciate the view just a little because I have a couple minutes. This guy's doing it right. Alright, there's my camera set up to get them coming in. I'm gonna try and go and be behind them. My challenge right now is how long a video I have on my camera. And I was just like deleting other files. Why didn't I do that before? I don't know, probably because I hadn't slept. Um, but hopefully now I'm gonna have enough space to video them. I think they're like not too far out. So I'm gonna hit record on this and then go find them, I think. Works. You got it, guys. Home stretch, home stretch. It's right here. Not how long we are. Oh, uh, like 3.2 kilometers, and it's all downhill. Yeah. Yeah. Looking good, looking good, guys. I'm getting yeah. you coming through this awesome place. So cute, so cute. You look amazing. Way part of that camera on the table. All right, I'm coming behind you. Hey guys, the crew want to know: should they meet you at the finish line, or should they run in the last couple hundred meters with you? What do you want to do? Matt, can they run in the last 200 meters? Everyone else is doing it. They just want to know what you want. Oh, I can. I did. Oh no, it ripped. Must fix. You keep moving. 
How are you feeling, Ant? I'm great. You look great. Okay, I'm now gonna like run behind them and catch up. And I have two cameras going. It's a little wild, but I'm so glad I caught them. And I gotta report back into the bathroom. Hey crew, I hope you guys had a good time. Good now, about you. They did awesome. Nancy and Tim had a romantic dinner last night. What's that? Nancy and Tim went for a romantic dinner last night in the spa. Nice. I ate rice on the toilet. How beautiful. These guys are amazing. I imagine some awesome like music being over my voice. I mean instead of my voice. Because they are almost there.
So you Where's your jacket? Jacket, jacket, jacket. I put my armor on, I saw you dead. I yell, 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 yell. I'm unstoppable. I'm a Porsche with no brakes. I'm invincible. The outwind is. Calculate the calories. They finished, they beat their time, they did awesome. I'm so proud of them. Uh, I ran the last little bit and I think I got some good footage. I'm sure Anthony's gonna make fun of it, but I tried my best. So <laughs> we saw the video you thought was awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh, how do you feel, crew? Amazing, amazing. They crushed it. They crushed it. So proud of them. Well, that's it. That is the story of Tim Ross and the legendary UTMB. Okay, okay. 
Maybe it's not just Tim's story. I just couldn't help but ending on that perfect picture of Tim. Maybe this is my story. But maybe it's not. Maybe it's the story of all of us. This is not just the story of a race. I mean, it is that, but it's so much more. To me, this is the story of an adventure. And like all great adventures, they are meant to be shared with friends. Your very best friends will change your life for the better, as will the memories of epic adventures, unforgettable experiences, and unimaginable suffering. I don't have the words to tell my crew how much they mean to me. And if anyone asks, I will never be able to describe how riding around a mountain supported by this group of people has forever changed me. Tim, Nancy, Megan, Nat, Rish, Jen, and Arthur, thank you for making this happen for me. Frenchie, there isn't anyone I would rather have run this with. That being said, I don't think I know anyone else who would actually want to. I will never forget this journey that we've shared. You know, they say when you run an ultra, you experience all the emotions of life distilled down into just one day. And I guess that's why I do this. Every race I run is another life I get to live. And with friends and a support crew like this, I'll tell you, I'm the luckiest man alive.